Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Surviving the Aftermath. We have another winter storm. We knew it was going to happen. It's coming. So uh, you guys got to be sure to prepare for it. I've taken down the second to last tent. Uh, well, okay. There's actually two tents, I guess. Uh, I had a whole spiel to talk about, and then now I've forgotten about it because I see that extra tent. In any case, the uh, next tenement, or next shanty, sorry, is going up. I think I'm going to drop a tenement in here. Kind of right here. But before I do any of that, this burner is getting upgraded. So we're going to upgrade this so that it provides more heat to this whole area in a wider radius. And we should keep everybody warm in this area because of that. We are going to need as much firewood as we can get. So we're going to upgrade the production on the logging camp. And I'm also going to reduce, I think, the number of foresters so that I have extra logistics. Because I need a lot more carriers. Thankfully... As you may have noticed, we have less, or sorry, we have more than zero, at least we had more than zero metal. It's now being reserved for the upgrade, but we had more than zero metal, and that's because we finally delivered all of the metal to this structure. Pretty nice. The only thing we have left to do to start worrying about environmental stuff then is to get concrete, and that's not happening uh, anytime soon. We are barely holding on to clothes but we're still very far behind and we have a little bit of durable tools or a few durable tools because our buddy came uh and delivered them to us we're gonna go ahead and harvest the crops since these are gonna die anyway pretty quickly and uh i'm gonna go ahead and unstaff the small fields we're not gonna need them anymore i do not have ice fishing and i'm kind of debating on doing that now because i've got this in the tech tree i realize uh, oh, communal eating, right? We don't have enough research points for this, but we're very close. Like, we, we could start this very quickly. But I'm considering doing ice fishing um, because we can upgrade the fishing hut. Uh, or, yeah, we can upgrade it to a fishing hut. It's tempting because then we can, you know, keep gathering the fish. But I think communal eating is going to help us more because getting those cooked meals, they are, it, it's, it's better for our food supply, right? It doesn't double our food, but... You know, these guys eating the raw ingredients is worse than them, um, you know, eating the cooked meals in terms of, like, supply. Take a look at the map here really quick. I went ahead and I spent, you might notice my currency is lower. I, I doubt people notice that stuff. But in, in the event that you were paying attention to my currency before, here you go. Um, it's lower. That's because I, I bought another specialist and I'm getting them to go out to this area to set up a camp for... Um, additional research. Okay. So I'm heading out that way with this. This one is still on its way. He has not arrived yet, but he's going to get to on here, it. set up a camp here for those clothes, and then okay. we've we've ba managed to battle these guys, and uh, everything is everything is ready to rock here. So these guys are gone, and then these guys can now fight. So we're going to send uh, Aramis to here. He's going to lose if we Engaging leave him hostile. alone, which is why Pinkman's going to join in. And then yes. we're going to have our new buddy, Inik, here. He's going to go in and help him, too. So with these three fighting, we should win this pretty decisively. But these guys are all going to be wounded. But the good news is, I believe this is the last one in that side quest. So we could start getting other side quests. Because that's kind of been lingering in our logs for quite some time. Not good. Uh, it looks to me like we have a lot of research in these areas. It would probably be a good idea to get some of this. Um, science points at this factory. Huh. How did I overlook this? Well, I think I overlooked it because this this region here was blacked out before we started going that way. So uh, This is 30 and 12 hours. This one's 30 and 12 hours. So this settler is going to give us an additional 30 science every 12 hours. That's a huge chunk. Um, we'll end up with... Well, if it's getting 30, it should be 110, right? Every 24 hours? That's what it should be. Yeah. Good. Uh, okay. So let's just back out here. And again, winter is coming. We're almost there. The boosted burner is done. We're just going to have to deliver the firewood. Shouldn't be much of a problem. And then I think this road is going to take... I'm going to have a road that goes straight through here, I think. Uh, maybe just around this. I think I think I'll do a road like that. Yeah, because we're I, eventually I do want to use these, right? 
Okay, so everybody's going to be living in tenements, and everybody's going to be hopefully covered by the burners. Um, this house is covered by two different burners. Covered as asterisk. But most of them are in the in the reddish zone, the orangish zone. And then I think um, we'll go ahead and turn this one on. It is damaged. We'll get it repaired. Uh, but we'll go ahead and turn this one on too, just to kind of keep this place heated. Yeah, because these places aren't heated. And then uh, food-wise, I think there's, these are both hunting cabins now with two workers. I think we're ready to go for the winter. It's going to be very cold, but communal eating just started. That's what we needed to. Okay, so we're not gonna we're not farming here anymore. We're not farming here anymore, and we're still harvesting. And once we're done harvesting, that's it. So we are not we're not working those fields anymore. Now they're gonna do carriers, and they can be reassigned to other things. They would have been carriers anyway, but now I can reassign them to other things if I if I need to. This tent probably should go. There's right. It's right next to a burner, so it's not a big deal, but it should probably go. Hello, group of survivors at the gate. Are you going to join us? Because I'm struggling for housing right now. But I got a whole bunch of metal now. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's nice. All right, hold on. Let's go ahead and unstaff that. Yeah, we'll unstaff that scrapper. Winter is here. What's up, guys? Ragged bunch shuffled slowly towards the gate. Mishka, 350 science points every 12 hours. I like coming in with milk candy bars and more parts okay not that many like there's three children i guess but we get in here truly special nice achievement we need more housing we can't have homeless in the winter so we're gonna have another shanty put in right next to this one right there let's get that built right away please and then i'm also gonna i guess i'm gonna need one more i will i'm th thinking about putting a tenement right here though yeah, I think I'm going to put a tenement right here. That's just like extra temporary housing, right? But that's going to take care of our housing problem right away. And then I'll make this road uh, connect. I could bring it all the way down here. But I want the cookhouse. And I'm not sure where that's going yet. Until that's done. Until this is done. I don't know where that's going yet. But, all right. So let's get this done. Make sure we don't have... Yeah, seven people homeless is a big deal in the winter. It's a very bad thing. And we are out of wood. We're pretty much out of wood entirely. So how about we... Uh, lumber yard. It takes 40 wood to build the lumber yard. Does it now? <laughs> of course it does. And then we're not, con we're not scavenging concrete yet either. You know what I really need? I need that trading post. You know? Look at all these different decorations now, too. Ooh. Yeah. Plastic viola. We could put flowers in in the winter. That'll make them feel good, right? Would that make them feel great? Yeah, flowers in the winter. Very useful. There, there you go. <laughs> so this is going to occupy... We've made a new discovery. This is going to take a lot of our wood for the foreseeable here. And with 178 firewood, we're producing four, we're consuming seven. Okay. Okay. Okay, Winter. The lack of clothes is a huge deal too here because they're not able to stay warm. Uh, looks like we win. We won the bat. Looks like we win. Mm -hmm. 800 science the final nuclear plant has been secured a folder filled with plans is found on the scene and even if the instructions are nearly unintelligible it takes no genius to understand that their ultimate goal was to create a dirty bomb of grand proportions by blowing up the plants this would have caused chaos and instability to anyone living nearby with their plans dwarfed their plans dwarfed thwarted maybe uh the colony should be safe for now Quest complete. That is a lot. What's up? Yes, yes, it is. Uh, 250 science points? Really? Every 12 hours? Go here and get that. My pleasure. You are kind of wounded. You don't really get stuff very fast, although your scavenging is great, actually, on Pinkman. Just not your research. 
I don't really have anything for you to scavenge. I've got things for you to kill. But you're wounded, you know. 50? Can you take it? What you need? Your command? Oh, we can get... No, that's a convenience store. Uh... All right, go back to go back to camp. Okay. What else can we do with you? Uh, settler, right here. Uh -huh. Can I get you? Yeah, right here. Okay. This puts you in this land. Can I form the outpost? It will give me science points. Thru Thirty every twelve hours. Yes, please. My pleasure. All right, more science for us. We're gonna be able to research things super fast. Outpost it's got a down. major yes. acceleration to our research speed. I love it. Can't quite reach it or reach this zone, but uh, it looks like the same number of turns regardless of where I do it. All right. It doesn't really matter then, I guess. Um, so we could set it up maybe like more in the middle, like right here. And then that will hopefully get us this because it's not an occupied zone. Okay. I mean, it makes sense that you can't establish a camp in an occupied zone. Now that I'm like thinking about it and stuff, you know, like, yeah, that makes sense. But... See, this person I don't think has... Uh, he has sturdy clothing. Yeah, he has sturdy clothing, see? If I could just get that camp up. Man, oh, we're going to have clothes after I get there. Just get there. <laughs> Come on. You can do it. I need the wood bad. Really bad. Oh, come on. We have homeless people. Get the wood. Get it here. Lumber yard. Bring it right here. Please. Is there any, um, yeah, that's, I don't, I don't, I can't afford that right now. Uh, cookhouse. I need this, but I also can't afford this with the wood either. We're just really low on wood now. Is there anywhere I can send my carriers to get wood? Anywhere at all? Like, as wide as possible. Is there any wood anywhere? Uh, yes. Actually, 241 wood this way, but that is a very long walk in the cold. Oh, that's a very long walk in the cold. I wish I had tried this earlier. Well, there are 12 of you, so bring it back, please. Hopefully. I mean, at least we have the whole area warm, but I don't think they stay warm in the area. It looks like their temperature drops while they're outside, regardless of being near the boiler. So it's only when they're inside facilities near the boiler is what it, is what it appears to be anyway. Hmm. Okay. So the cookhouse is a really big thing to get then, isn't it? It's not as big as I thought it was, thankfully. Uh, so we're going to need to... I kind of want to redo the... Hmm. I'm going to put you here. No, I want the shanty there. Trying to, I'm trying to get this road to line up and go straight, but I, that doesn't look like it's going to happen very easily. Maybe here. Maybe, like, right here. I don't want to cover this because we can work that. So I'm trying to find that, that happy medium, I guess. And it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to do that and build that extra tenement. So we're just going to stick it on the side here, and that'll be it. Maybe on this side. We'll just stick it here. It's It's whatever. It's fine. Uh, but we need to pause this so that they will deliver the wood to this. Actually, I don't need to pause it. Just do priority instead. All the resources will be go here before it goes here. But then the stuff that can be delivered here will go here. Good lord. And then I'm building the cookhouse, of course, during the winter. So we can just have even more firewood used at the time, right? Great. What's this? Someone's at the gate. A child arrives at the gate, holding the hand of a clearly feverish and delirious woman. Interesting. Even an untrained eye can see that she needs help, and quickly. Is anyone there? Please, can you help my mom? The child calls, voice stuttering and almost breaking. We were going back to my dad in another colony, but my mom just suddenly fell. Well, yeah, give them medicine. He'll give me a carrot seed. Like, I would love to have a carrot seed. Thank you. Honestly, I would have just gave you one medicine without the carrot seed, but now that I know you've got carrots, I guess I'll take it. <laughs> if you're giving it up, I'll take it. All right, good. 
So the tenement will give people homes. We won't have anybody homeless anymore. It's not very comfortable homes. But it's something, right? That's all they want. They just want something. There you go. Tenements. Six out of eight people living there. They've chosen to live in the tenements instead of the tents. Is that what it is? Or did I just get extra people somehow? I only had two homeless. Now I've got six that are in the tenements? Weird. Oh, these aren't fully occupied. You've chosen to live in the tenements instead of... Maybe it's like a family thing. You know? Like families will take... like They get reshuffled people into certain homes. Maybe that's how it went. You got hypothermic people. Oh, right. They're working in places... Okay, get... No, you don't work there anymore. They're working in places that aren't that aren't uh, covered by the heaters. Yeah, don't don't work in here. We don't need any plastic. We'll be fine for a while. Uh, this is covered by a heater. Yep. This is not. So you're don't don't work here. No fish. No fishing. No fishing. Well, actually, wait a minute. This one. I think this one's okay, but you can't fish in the winter anyway. Goodbye. No fishing. Yeah, so now we're starting to bring wood in from that really far away place. That's metal. I'm hovering over top of metal right now. It's over here. Yeah, this wooden ruins. We need to get the concrete too. I feel like we're going to have more deaths this winter than we had last winter. I think I'm less pre I feel like I'm less prepared this time. Let me get right. my camp set up here. So, I want to have clothes clothes all the time all right constant supply of protective clothing top tier clothing one delivered every 12 hours top tier clothing go uh next where is got my research one done good you mission complete completed mission complete. you also mission completed i had her stop on the way to get those uh to get the, the there was weapons here there was guns here huh? i'm gonna have yep. kate she'll be done in three days she's gonna take damage like a lot so never mind everybody go back to go go back to the colony okay. yep. you guys are all wounded go back to the colony you had nice fights Roger. that's great and all and now it's time to go back home uh return to colony as well yep. right everybody return to colony what about you What's up? pinkman you're wounded too you can scavenge pretty well though. On your way back. Uh Pinkman, I think you're gonna go here. Can do. And then one of you guys, on your way back. The ones with have good scavenging yes. skills. Is that you? I see yours? Yeah, two hundred percent. On your way back, stop here and get this. Not gonna work. Because it's not um it's it's not gonna hurt you, right? Vegas is at hundred percent health now. Yep, he is. I'll send him back to the world map. And then we also have Akeem, full health. Send you back to the world map, too. Uh, and then Darius, also full health. Send you back to the world map, too. So lots of things to do on the world map. Lots and lots of things to do. We almost have the cookhouse. How's my firewood? I am nervous. I feel like I should pause this. If we run out of firewood, that's the worst thing than run like we're not gonna run out of food. We're absolutely not running out of food. And this actually takes a lot of staff too. I'm gonna I'm gonna pause this. I delivered a lot of wood there for now. I'm gonna pause that. And then uh, our woods our wood supply can start building up again, hopefully. And then we can start using that wood, of course, to make more firewood. We are having two people working in the logging camp right now. It's covered by the heaters. Yes, it is. I'm surprised the winter doesn't do much to the solar panels. You'd think that that would affect them, you know? They get covered in the snow. Uh, solar panels, at least modern ones anyway, they kind of heat. Like, there's heat from them, right? So they kind of melt the snow that's on them. Uh, unless it's a really heavy snow, you usually don't have to worry about your solar panels being covered in the winter. Unless, again, unless it's really heavy snow. Um, but these are really makeshift ones, so they're not... It's not like there's a ton of heat. Electricity itself being generated is going to... There's going to be heat here, but I don't know how the makeshift ones in this game are, are built. So. I'm kind of a solar panel nerd. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, ever since I got them on my roof. Yeah. Uh, parts production, power saws. Now this would be nice. Proper sawmill, concrete workers, that'd be cool. Sledgehammers, hey. Oh, we should, we definitely should. I mean, we have 1300 science now, man. We can get some stuff going here. Wind power, I think maybe safety? Flushing. Let's get flushing. Um, we upgrade to, like, what does this actually do for me? Colony Center scouts the surrounding areas faster and has more storage than a campsite. Okay, so like multiple campsites then? Like scouts the surrounding area faster. I'm already fully scouted, you know? Pollution disposal would be a good idea. Um, we can get rid of that faster. If I queue this, it's doing that after, right? Yeah, active is here, then it, then it does this. Yeah, and then uh, from there, I think we'll go through and get home improvement. And gardens, wow, there's a lot of stuff here. Makeshift radiators, cabinets, high density housing, yeah. Comfortable housing. It's com these these are larger than the tenements aren't, right? So like I, I need to rebuild all of them to do that, I think. We'll, we'll go with um, roof supports is a good idea. We'll, we'll, we'll queue up this too as well. And I think after home improvement, we can go down remembrance because that's going to make people happy as well. Also provides entertainment, which is a good thing to have too. Oh, oh, I see. You can only queue up one more. I see. Okay. Uh, in that case, you can never, I can't never tell which ones are getting queued. You only you can only queue one more. All right, flushing first, then home improvement. Okay. It's it's gonna be fine. We're gonna live. All right, the winter is gonna be over anytime. Don't worry about it. I still have not gotten this car, but I can't do anything really with it anyway. Your orders. Let's have Darius head down. Your scavenging speed is 150. It's not that bad. 18 protective clothing here. It only takes you a day, but it takes you a long time to get there. We're starting to get to the point where I kind of need that car. Darius, go get the car. I'm going to need that car eventually. Uh -huh. Hakeem, what am I doing with you? Maybe you and... Your buddy actually well you you scavenge 150 10 damage every 12 hours it's gonna take you you're gonna take 30 damage getting this but there's 19 protective clothing there and we need it so go get it uh and then Good vegas order. you scavenge super slowly so uh, i'm gonna have you honestly vegas is a good candidate vegas would have been a great candidate for a settlement like he should have been turned into a settler but instead, I'm going to have him just sprint over to here, I guess, right. to, you know, show me that region. Yep. Uh, let's see. You, Pinkman's going to stop here Roger. for the meds. All Kate, right. with her awesome scavenging skills, she will... I think... Oh, you're just right returning right. to the colony. Yeah. And then Aramis is going to stop here. Yes. Get the candy. Okay. All right. Inuk. Uh, Inuk is going to go, maybe I'll have you get the fuel. I think I'll have you come of down course. and get that fuel. Because we'll eventually use it. What's up? Uh, what's up is Mishka has great research speed. Send you to the map. Something alarming has been spotted. Has it now? A colonist has made a gruesome discovery in the forest. A wolf carcass with two massive puncture wounds on each side. It's partially dissolved, as if something swallowed it whole and then coughed it back up. The colonists are scared of the idea of a beast capable of doing this lurking around the colony. Uh, if I prop up the colony's defenses, I don't think we should hunt the beast. Let's prop up the defenses. Okay, extra guards are posted around the colony to keep an eye on the woods. 
A few nights go by undisturbed until one day during wee hours, a guard spots what she swears was a being so massive it looked like the ground itself was moving. The guards rush to the scene but find nothing aside from a freshly killed deer. Beast must have gotten scared and left, hopefully for good. Well, more food is... Hey, food is food, you know? Food is going to be good for us. Everybody loves food. All right, yep. Mishka. What am I doing with you? Like, your research speed is the big, the big thing. I think I'm going here with you. Yep, I think I'm going here with you. And I think that's it for now. You're going to head to this. It's more dangerous, but you can see the science points from it. And then if you've got time, your scavenging is only 100%, but I think you've got time to get these tools as well. Going. So we're going to send you down there. I think Vegas... Yes. I think the next time Vegas returns to the camp, I'm going to make him a settlement, a settler dude. That's just something that I think that's got to happen. Because I got too many of these guys, you know? I got to start using them more, more efficiently. I mean, I'm kind of spreading them around the map, and that's good, but... Speaking of spreading around the map, we have concrete all around the map, and I think I'm pretty much good on supplies to build one of these things. Um, Concrete-wise, looks like we got one stack there, one stack over here. So like, for the time being, it seems like this is the best place to go get concrete for the moment. Uh, I would have liked it to be a bit more close to where we are. I can't believe there's no concrete here. Like, look at the structures, right? I can't believe there's no concrete there. But it does seem to me that this is the better spot to go for concrete. So, uh, again, one, one there and one there. We can place our concrete um, building, I suppose, uh, right over here on this road. Probably where we should go with it. Right about, right about here, I think, is where we'll end up going with this. And then uh, we'll deliver all that stuff. We don't actually have enough plastic anymore. Hmm. Okay, I need another burner. Unfortunately. I want to put another burner. Uh, yikes. Uh, well, over here. Hmm. Yeah, if I put it here, it doesn't really... Well, it covers that house. That's good. We need to cover that house anyway. We'll put the burner there. And uh, let's put this road out this way a bit more. And then once we get this burner set up, we can then get people working back in the recycler. Let's build this. Build this now, actually. Get that burner going. There's not enough wood for it, though. That's the problem. We don't have enough plastic for it either. I need people to work here to get the plastic for it. Let's um, let's get like one big like three-person boom on this, I guess. Real quick, just to get enough plastic to build that, and then after that point, they should be like they're covered anyway. A bandit at the gate. A single bandit at the gate. A rough-looking man with a heavy backpack walks to the gate. I would have liked to have done this one. I would have been okay with this one. But do you have anything more worthwhile? Uh, I would love clothes, if you've got that. He looks visibly offended. Are you sure? Can you tell? <laughs> Bandits, man. He scoffed and throws his backpack over his back. If you're just going to insult me, then I best be on my way, he says with a sneer and marches off, muttering under his breath. Also, I have extra people in here that don't need to be working here, so... I don't think I need anybody at the gate. We'll do one. I, I don't know what you really need one person at the gate for, but we'll do one. It's fine. Uh, I don't think I need anybody at the guard post right now either way. So, so more carriers for me. Gosh, this winter storm. It sucks. All right. With this built, these guys don't have to be cold anymore. As soon as this gets its supply of firewood in... And firewood's got to be delivered first. And then they'll provide heat to this house. There we go. This is a heated building now. They can get uh, the plastic a lot faster. Just got to weather the storm, man. All the wood should be going right to concrete scavenging. And then these buildings are going to need heat as well. Unfortunately. So that's an additional burner. 
Uh, just this building, though. I can position it. If I position it here... Mm, I have to position it here. It's not going to cover that building. It have to be here. But then it doesn't get... Like, I was kind of hoping this burner could, you know, tend to this whole area. But it would have to be... I, I basically have to put it here and then upgrade it. Right? Because that's the... That's how that works. I need I need it to be like here and then upgrade it. Hmm. Is that the way I want to do it? Not really. Hmm. I mean I kinda I need I need this to be warm. So whatever. Just drop it right there. I need it to be warm. 148 firewood. Since we are still producing, which is why we have basically no wood because we're producing the firewood. But since we are producing the firewood, we're not using it nearly as quickly. I think just in an, in an attempt to uh, a build up a supply. Okay, Sylvia died of old age, no big deal. Just to build up a supply of actual construction wood. Do I need it though? No, I'm good, Never mind. Uh, work area, you're going this way. This is definitely closer. Start, let's start scavenging up some concrete. And it's, again, as soon as this is built and we get the firewood delivered, this will be a heated building. And then now they don't get hypothermia by working there. Okay. I've taken care of my people, guys. You see? I've taken care of them. I know it doesn't look like it because of all these notices, okay? But, like, just if we just pause it for a second. Eight people are infected. That's, I mean, that sucks. But I have doctors. This is why I have doctors. Here we go. Double, double duty on the doctors. Um, somebody irradiated. Well, yeah, we still have pollution. I'm working on that right now. Uh, and then we have hypothermia, which, like, I'm not sure who that is. But whoever it is, they are inside the medical tent now. And therefore getting treatment next to one of these awesome burners. So never mind. It's all good. We have wood. I think we have wood. Turn that back on. And we're going to start getting uh, people working in the cookhouse now, too. We should start getting concrete any second now, and it should be automatically getting delivered right, right to here. If it if it does this one first, then so be it. But it should be this one first. They both need done anyway. Like, the, the one doesn't work without the other anyway, so it doesn't matter which order it does. Okay. So we now have... Cookhouse completed. You're going to start making vegetable meals. Uh, let's do plant-based nutrition. Okay, so there's actually stats to these now. Hang on. So high-quality food, vegetable meal. Plant-based nutrition, way up. Filling rate, 3 out of 4. Pollution, 2 out of 4. And it uses 3 vegetables and 1 firewood. If I switch to meat, it's essentially the exact same thing, except the meat generates more pollution. Okay, then. Well, there you go. Problem solved. So now it's going to take three vegetables and make six meals. That's why I, I, didn't, I didn't really say doubling our food, but it's kind of doubling your food. Because every time these guys need to eat, they're going to consume one of your food products. But now if you can take one of your food products and make two with it, then, you know, good to go. This is also sucking down water. Not a big deal, though. What that's water towers for. And also... We have a surplus, so that's that's what that's all about. Everybody who's dying is currently dying from old age, not because of me. <laughs> it's not my fault. It's not me. Uh, let's do uh, drilled wells, mm, bigger barrels, large water towers. I th I think I want to make concrete a lot faster. I think we're going to queue all the way up through there. And we're going to get concrete to be even faster. Because I'm going to need a bunch of it. And then, uh, at that point, like, I mean, I think we're... I, I think this is this is it, right? Until the final tier of stuff, when we start building, like, all the pleasure centers and stuff. Like, you know, the fighting pits and the movie theaters and all that stuff. It's mostly just a, a matter of increasing housing. Wow, Darius has 12 action? Oh, right, he's in the car. <laughs> right, that's that. Yeah, that'll do it. Mm -hmm. um, but unfortunately, the car, given that it is 
not fixed. You know? It's not really any... Like, the movement's not that impressive until it's fixed. And then it becomes a lot better. Then I can take four people inside the station wagon at a time. I can just pull up next to one of these bandits and just everybody get out and attack, you know? Easy. Mission complete. Thank you, Mishka. Uh, I would like you to take the remainder of your health and that relatively average 100% that you have and get the tools because we're going to need those now too. And then I can recruit a specialist with my money. I probably should do that. And we get Wallaby. He's decent. He's he's decent. He's, yeah, he's actually very, very decent. Um, excellent scavenging. Really good on research. Uh, 7 AP as well. I'll, I'll hire him. I'll, I'll get him. I think Vegas is my... Vegas is going to get demoted. It's a specialist. I think I might also do the same for... Your orders? Pinkman's really strong. I don't think I'm going to do that for Pinkman. I might do it with Kate, actually. Because... Like, compared to the other ones we have, you know? Like, her scavenging is okay. Or, sorry, her research is okay, but her scavenging is not that good, you know? Like, I could start keeping the scavengers who are, like, a, like 200% and stuff. Definitely. This building is not being worked because it's outside the it's outside the warmth. But this one's inside the warmth, so they're working here. And then I want to see this number go up. One of these. Yeah, there it is. Eight. Good. They're delivering it here. And they're delivering it here. Okay, let's not spread them out. Let's let's have one building built next, okay? There's a new quest available. Good. And we have a new side quest. We haven't seen we haven't had one of these in a while because the bandit camps were in the way, right? Given the constant need for medicine and other supplies, some colonists have suggested someone be sent to search a nearby ghost town. It's hmm. got a small rundown hospital, with hopefully some medicine left to loot. Okay, we'll search the hospital, fine. We'll look to do that. Uh, Wallaby here, actually. We can have you go do that. It says it's a nearby hospital, so maybe you can do it quickly. We'll see. Wallaby. Yes. Where's the hospital? Nearby hospital? Oh, they still didn't fix that. I was hoping that you could click this and it would take you directly where the marker is. They still didn't They still didn't do that. That's That's a shame. Uh, so now I have to scour the map looking for this nearby hospital that I'm supposed to be able to go to. Am I just blind? I'm blind, right? Yeah, I'm totally blind. It's right here. <laughs> oh, man, your movement. It's always that one extra movement, right? Found All right, we'll go there. And then once he reaches the destination, that'll be that. But we're going to see the results of that hospital thing, I think, next time. So we've got 13 weapons good right shotguns good amount of components we're starting to get concrete now we're gonna get this building done then we're gonna start seeing the pollution go away we've got 61 colonists a good surplus of water not as much food we're, we're gonna work on that but once the winter is over we can start fishing again farming again etc um research wise we're gonna make concrete faster and then I think after that, I'm going down to advanced farming to get bigger fields, irrigation potentially. Uh, and then if we're going to do irrigation, we're, of course, going to need also to start getting things like deep drilling, so start getting boring wells. we got to start using some of this power that we are generating now. I kind of built the power too quickly. I didn't need it yet. Um, and then I can also increase the durability of panels and stuff over time there too. So we're getting there. Huh? Maybe not the most optimal order of things. I kind of shuffled things are a little bit, I know. But um, we we're definitely going to get there. And uh, concrete workers have been completed. I can put uh, additional worker in here now to get even more. 12 extra carriers. Perfect logistics. I'm liking it. Thank you for watching, everybody. I appreciate it. We're going to get through this winter in the next video. I hope you will come on back and uh, join me for that. Take care. Bye-bye.